Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Heather Tulla with another new video. As we have started a Tecla tutorial series, I mean Tecla structural designer tutorial series, and in our previous two video, three video, I have shown you that how we'll download that, and also uh, the download link are given in description, and I have shown you that how we'll uh, edit our model setting. I mean uh, how we'll uh, define our materials also and how to draw our construction level so in this video I'm going to uh, I mean in this video I'm going to uh, discuss about that how we draw the grid line uh, for our construction level so uh, if you need here you can watch that previous video the link are given in description and if you're a civil engineer then don't forget to subscribe to our channel so let's uh, start First of all, I will open our Tecla Structural Software. Here is our Tecla Structural Software. So, first of all, here, uh, first of all, I will. In our previous video, I have shown you that how we'll draw that uh, floor level and we'll uh, design for a five-story building. And in this video, I will show you that how we'll define. I mean, how we'll assign beam column slab. So let's start. So first of all, uh, we have to before that we have to draw our grid. Okay, grid line. How to draw grid? Uh, in this video, I'm going to show that. So for that, to draw grid, you have to uh, go here. Uh, so from here. Uh, uh, first of all we have to go um, model then we'll go here grid line okay so from grid line we will select rectangular wizard suppose if you want to take grid line um, parallel quick suppose um, if you want to drop a quick parallel grid then you can do it but we'll draw the rectangular wizard rectangular wizard so if you draw first of all parallel then you can also use the perpendicular grid but I will you know, draw by using that tool because this is a simple tool so first of all you have to click here rectangular okay after uh, first of all coming model you have to select I see that uh, dot dot then uh, you have to click here that that uh, little one okay so after that if you click you will see that then you have to select the rectangular wizard so after selecting that rectangular wizard in here when you will select that then uh here's the grid name you can give your grid name after that you have to here is your uh, story level for every story suppose uh if you don't want to create grid line for any of the story then you can unselect that okay then it will not create grid for that level so i'll select i mean i'll create grid for every level then next after that select what is in x zero in and y zero and so we'll take it zero zero is every time after that next now here uh, grid generate grid this is wall line okay suppose you want to grid only for x direction that will create grid for x direction and you have to give your value but uh, if you want to grid line draw grid line for every direction then click here okay and line style what will be the real what will be your line style so from here you can uh, it's solid or it's dash or anything so you can uh, draw your grid line in any line system after that you have to press next and here you have to do your work so first of all it's here you are showing uh, seeing that it's x direction extent x direction extent so you have to click here irregular okay suppose if you have a regular grid you have to just give here the number of count i mean uh, how much grid you required and here you have to give the length okay you have to give her the length so after that i will give her uh, i will consider that our grid line is irregular okay our grid is irregular so after that i will uh, i'm just a uh, using a random value here to show you that how will work here okay so in x direction i mean uh, just they have 
a simple way suppose your first grid line uh, i mean our first uh, floor uh, level i mean on column to around another column distance will be uh, uh, suppose 15 feet then you have to press 15 and then feet sign after that press comma okay press comma and again suppose you have uh, another is 13 1 13 feet then again press comma just see here when you are pressing uh, giving comma here and here grid line are creating again uh, go here for uh, suppose itself 12 feet feet sign and give here the comma and after that uh, randomly I am giving 15 okay then anything you give her 15 feet sign okay sorry not 15 comma 15 feet sign so in this way you can do that I mean if you regret that you can do that okay so it is done and in this way you can draw your grid after that you have to press next and for y direction it is regular or irregular so we'll consider that it is also irregular shape so if we give a length uh, it's suppose 13 feet then comma suppose uh, 15 feet then comma like that then uh, 12 feet then comma then 16 feet then comma so in this way we can draw our gear, grid line so uh, suppose uh, 11 feet so like that way we can draw our grid line so if we give here comma or in last it's not mandatory to give the comma sign so after that press next and here the rotation if you require the sorry so I'm sorry press escape I'm extremely sorry for that just you have to click here and that you have draw the grid line is available here then go next 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 and again go next here if you think that you need to I mean yeah, if you think that you have to give your grid line here then also you can give your grid line okay otherwise you can um, come here and you can press next then finish okay uh, here um, it's showing uh, the rotation 90 degree to x axis so we'll do not give any rotation we'll give zero sorry with respect to x axis we have to give 90 degree 90 degree with respect to x axis so then it will be our the original grid line and if you need to do it for y axis then it will also rotate that okay so uh, after that press finish and just see here here is a grid line okay so here is our grid line available here so if you click here to see 3d view it's also available in 3d view okay so after that here if you want to see the structure in 3d view here is your 3d view by clicking here you can see it as 3d view so click here and if you click level also by clicking here level you can change your value on uh, according to requirement and then close that and also suppose if you need to uh, give here any level I mean you, you want to see the data or any properties from any level then just uh, suppose you you want to and uh, when we'll draw columns then we have to obviously select the top story suppose now if we select here double click and please wait and after that here is the top story okay then history 5 okay so when if you want to see the data from for a story then also you have to give here for history 4 so after that um, this is base this is history 4 and this is 3d structure view so in this way we will be able to draw our grid line so and so in this way you will be able to draw your grid line in tecla structural designer so after uh, drawing a grid line it will be very easy i mean the drawing of grid line is the main important thing in tecla structural designer and so just one thing i am just giving you the basic concept of that software then how we'll use that software okay 
how we'll use that software and in our uh, another new tutorial part i will uh, design a building full building with proper way okay by using a autocad layout or by using a, any layout so we'll use a draw a building so that your uh, concept are being full clear and for that just press us uh, press subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get the wall notification fast and if you new here then like our video share our video and don't forget to leave a comment so that your own comment and your uh, one like that can inspire us for the next work so thank you thank you very much s12 stay connected to next video in our next video i'll show you that how we'll draw beam columns and also slab so let's finish and s12 stay connected till next video